welcome to the Fraser Hat Yai Show. And today I am at the Fellowship of Beer, which is a craft beer bar in Bangkok. And I'm here with the owner, his name is Joe. Yep. And Woody Cap. And he is from, from Songkha. Yes. The south of Thailand. Yep. And he knows a lot about craft beer in Thailand. So yeah. I thought today we could have a chat about um, the craft beer yep. scene in Thailand at the yeah. moment. So, um, so what? How long have you been open here? Uh, for the bar, we just opened only one year. One year. We okay. just uh, have a first anniversary two days ago. Okay. Yeah. And um, how have you found like the reaction to opening the, the bar here? Do you find that craft beer is popular with the young young Thai people now? Uh, not really, actually. Uh, we just uh, brew beer, and then after we have a uh, legal beer, so we think that we have to have like a, a tap room or a showcase for our beer that we can sell and show them what we are made like that. But the scene craft beer can also grow growing a lot right now, so that's good time to be open the bar. Yeah. I think the craft beer scene is quite young yeah, in Thailand yeah, at the yeah. moment. Um, just just four or five years maybe. Okay. Yeah. So, um, how much of the beer here do you brew yourself and how much do you import? Uh, actually, we brew Sandport right now. We have uh, actually, we uh, Sandport beer. Uh -huh. uh, our beers right now legal, legally, just four type of beer. Uh, it's a uh, wheat beer. Puppy wheat beer and the uh, IPA and the red ale. Okay. Yeah. And normally we brew quite often. We brew a lot for finding a good recipe. Mm -hmm. So like twenty or thirty recipe already we brew but legal, just only four right now. Okay, so is it is it quite difficult to get a beer? Legal, legalized in Thailand. Yeah, sure. Because uh, home brew is uh, illegal, uh, and brew beer, the uh, legal beer you have to ask for license to a brew pub, like a big brewery. Mm -hmm. So it's it's difficult to brew for drink or something like that. Okay. Yeah. So because brewing your own beer is illegal in Thailand yep. because of the, the big companies. Bunrad and uh, Thai Bev. I'm not sure. Really. Not sure, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, how do you get around that that law so that you're able to sell your craft beer here in, in Thailand? Uh, we we decide to go abroad to brew beer, uh, like OEM, like contact brewery, and then after the beer finish, we bring back to Thailand, import back to Thailand, and and pay for the tax and then we, okay. we can we can sell legally so so basically you have to brew the beer in thailand then export it no no we go abroad and brew there okay so and like in get the bordering countries like yep. cambodia cambodia laos. laos or taiwan australia okay and then ex export back to thailand and pay tax and yep you can sell it legally okay. yeah yes. um so uh, what what's your most popular your most famous beer here? here? Uh, for for the most popular beer here for Sanford is the Bang Bang IPA. For the people that don't know what, what is a what is an IPA beer? Uh, the IPA beer is uh is the beer that uh, have a, a very good a strong aroma mm -hmm. and strong bitter. It's bitter than than a normal beer. Yeah. Okay. And Okay, so you brew it with like uh, some fruits and, and different things? Or? Uh, normally, we use just only the hop. The four, in, the four main ingredients is just uh, malt, hop, yeast and water. Okay. And the, the smell, the, the aroma is come from the malt and yeast and hop. So, um, 
Why, why did you become interested in brewing your own beer and alcohol? What? Uh, I, I love I love beer, man. Yeah. <laughs> I love to drink. Yeah. Me and my friend, we are uh, the founder of Sandport. We love to drink beer. We, we love to drink together. Uh, so we, we uh, after we drink a lot of uh, Sing Chang, uh, Hanegan, Leo, and then Someday we found that uh, there is a lot of beer in the world, like IPA style, and all of them it taste very good. Uh, uh, aroma is good. So why we don't have beer like it today in Thailand? So yeah, let's try it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So I think it's something new in Thailand, and, yep. and people are starting to learn about it more. Uh, in the UK, the craft beer scene is not. Not too big, but like the history of brewing in English, England yeah, is yeah, different. Yeah. Every little town has their own beer already, but yeah. but not really, not IPAs as much, and not like uh, we don't experiment as much. I think with beer mm -hmm. in the UK, we like just like lager or dark beer, simple ingredients. Yep. Um, I think in America they they love experimenting now with all sorts of different flavors. Yeah, so yeah. Um, when when you're thinking of uh, selling a, a craft beer here, do you do you um, do you take re recipes that already exist, or do you try to make your own kind of recipe? Uh, we 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 make our recipe by ourselves, like like, and try to put some uh, Thai ingredient, like raw cells, like uh, calf lime, mm. because uh, Thailand we have a lot of good ingredients, so so we can we can. Can put a lot of good ingredient that ingredient into into the beer and can make a, a new recipe. Okay, so so foreigners that come here, they can try some Thai yep. uh, Thai local craft beer that's got some yeah. like, special ingredients yeah, yeah. native to Thailand. Yeah. Um, how about durian? Could you could you make a craft beer with uh, durian? Durian, I I. I didn't have one, but I I used, I used to try one of my friends. My friend already done it, and yeah, it's it's not too much uh, durian, but it's it tastes good as well. Because I heard you should not eat durian and yeah. drink alcohol together. Yeah, yeah, but it's just smell, it's just taste, and a little bit of them, so no worry. Drinkable. Hmm? Um, how long it has? Has there been bars like this, craft beer bars in, in Thailand? Is it a recent thing, or is it something that's been around for a long time? Uh, actually, just, just, just not 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 too long, like six years or eight year maybe. But previously, like five year ago, just just not not too much bar that sell craft beer. And when 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 we start uh, brew beer, uh, try try the new beer like like craft beer, uh, we have to go in town, go to the downtown, find a big big bar that sells craft beer, uh, and not much uh, craft beer that sells at that time. And time to time, is growing a lot. And right now, one year already after we opened the bar, last year when we start our opening. Our bar is also not too much, still uh, like, but growing a lot, mm -hmm. grow a lot. But after one year, after Thai Thai craft import beer uh, come to Thailand a lot, so a lot of people try to open a bar. The 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 brewery, the the, the brand owner that import the beer also open the bar. So we have a lot of bar right now, and. Like right now, uh, craft scene in Thailand is just uh, Thai brewing, Thai beer brewing in, in outside, and then import back. So just just bar like this, and maybe in the future we may change to open the brew pub. So the scene of the brew pub in the future may be more and more. Right now, the brew pub is. Also not a, not not a lot. Maybe in next year, uh, like this year, uh, some Han Brewery start to operate the beer right now. So the the craft 
brewery like this gonna be open more and more in the future. That's good. Yeah. So do you think the laws are becoming more flexible or compared to say seven years ago and now? Is it easier to open and, and start selling brew beer or is it the same? I think the law is the same but uh, we 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 find we can find a way to to do in 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 the, the same law. Something like that, and and like people get involved into craft community a lot. So we we, we got like people who know the law, people who know how to operate a brewery, people who now ha how to make it happen. Yeah. So we can we can like that. We can go on. <laughs> we still hope like right now in in in. Thai craft beer community is really growing a lot for this year. Like I've been in this craft uh, like five years already. Yeah. So when when we when we start uh, brewing beer, we we have just only five, not too much people who who also brew the same thing with, with us. But right now, I think more than hundred people, like group of people who brew the beer, like uh, for the beer that import back to Thailand. Also, for for the beers, uh, the brand that import back to Thailand right now, I think is more than thirty already, okay. and people who still. People who are still growing illegal underground is more than that, and uh -huh. uh, like three or four years ago, uh, after we start brew, uh, we get close together with uh, some group of people, make a, a small group of Thai community, and then we share knowledge how to brew, like some someone like chick beer. He also like uh, open academy for growing beer, so people get understand about how brew how to brew a lot. Uh, get understand about the craft beer more and more and more yeah. after the year, and then so easy. It is going growing so fast right now. Yeah. So yeah. So I think for a long time, for like 10, 20 years, uh, Thai people. Like their taste has been very used to just yep. the lager beer, like yeah, the yeah. beer on the Chan, the singer. And then I think recently the taste is starting to change because yeah. even you see the big companies now, they try to launch like U beer, yeah. and they try to launch uh, Snowy. Snowy, they try to, and even like the Cheers, they try to yeah. do Cheers Orange. Yeah. Yeah. Even, the, yeah. even the big companies, they're seeing that in Thailand people's taste is changing, they're wanting to not only drink the lagers anymore, they want yeah. to experiment. So. Yeah. I think you're right that we're at the beginning now and uh, it's a, a great um, great place to start and hopefully yep. in the future we'll have uh, hope a lot more the freedom with <laughs> yeah. in Thailand. Yeah, we hope so. Yeah, yeah. we hope so. <laughs> okay, so I, I think we can wrap up that interview yep. there. Thank you very much for, um, Thank you. for talking with me today. Yeah. And uh, if you want to drink craft beer in Thailand, uh, come to this place. Uh, they have a, a large selection of beers behind me on tap and uh, a fridge full of uh, tons of different uh, yeah. IPAs and um, craft brew beers from Thailand and around the world. Um, if people want to come here, how, how, how can they get here? Uh, uh, our bar is near, it's not too far from Dongneung Airport. Okay. And so we, behind uh, the university name, you can you can you can find to Bandit it or Dongmen be nearby. So this this is actually on the university's land or campus, right? Um, is just outside. Outside. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please come and check out the beers yeah. here. They're really great. And uh, until the next time. Yeah. Stay awesome. Yeah. Thank you.